I'll go through the main design concepts of non-load bearing masonry walls, which is also a very good summary of the AS3700 requirements for unreinforced masonry wall design. At the first step, let's look at different support conditions for masonry wall design. We need to consider six support conditions for masonry walls, which depend on having either one or two support conditions at two vertical edges or at the top of the wall. Here you can see different uh, the six support conditions that I just mentioned. For example, if you look at these wall elevations in here, the first one is um, showing two vertical edge support, but there is no support on top. So I'm highlighting the support with um, yellow highlight. And in um, this case, there is only one vertical edge support and there is no support at the top. In this case, there is one vertical edge support as well, but it is supported on top. In this case, it is supported as, uh, at four sides, so two vertical edge and supported at the top. In this case, we have only support at the top. And finally, in this case, we don't have any support at two vertical edges and at the top. So to understand this better, if we look at the um, wall plan, for example, if we look at this wall in here, as you can see at the right side, we have this wall, which is going to be considered as a support for this end of the wall. So it means at this end, we have, uh, one, uh, we have one vertical edge support, so I'll write S in here. But at this end, um, because this end is not connected to any uh, masonry wall or shear wall or column, so basically we don't have any uh, good support at this end, so there is no support at this end. So I'll write N, S means no support at, the, at uh, this end. So depending on uh, whether we have support at the top or not, we might have uh, these two support conditions. We might have this support condition if there is no support at the top, or we might have this support condition if we have support at the top. 